Personal knowledge management, it's become incredibly popular in 2024 and I can imagine only will increase in 2025. People wanna be more organized and the way to be more organized is to pay more attention to how you're organizing your notes. So today I've got the best PKM apps on the market for you if you're looking at this system of personal knowledge management. So let's dive in and just tuck into this list. The first one on my list is Obsidian. It's really well known in the space as a free, good markdown, open source writing experience. What it's gonna do for you as somebody who is maybe new to PKM is get you going, mainly because the application's free and does pretty much what most people want in a PKM. Graph, bi-directional links, and the concept of connecting things up. Now, many people do like the fact that Obsidian is free, but also has abilities like canvas mode that's gonna help them to visually think some ideas out. But the application is largely really accessible and it does come with some sync modes if you're looking to sync between devices with end-to-end -end encryption at a fairly reasonable $4 per user per month. But you can even connect it up with your own software if you're interested in bringing it between devices. But largely, Obsidian, probably the most well-known, accessible one on the market to get going with. The second option is Tana, and it's one that I'm yet to fully dig deep into, but I hear a lot of people love this application. Now, the reason why a lot of people love it is because it doesn't just tailor towards PKM, but it also has an infrastructure for teams and small companies that are looking to starting to embrace personal knowledge management and team knowledge management collectively. It's got systems like super tags and all of the things that you'd expect like graph and bi-directional links. But what a lot of people like about it is very AI focused in trying to bring collective knowledge into the PKM world and Tana is seemingly at the forefront of this stage. Next up is LogSeq. Now, a lot of people like LogSeq because it's free like Obsidian and doesn't even have any premium pricing right now. You can become a supporter, much like you can with Obsidian, but there's no compromise when it comes to pricing in terms of getting started on it. Now, whilst this application, I wouldn't say is as robust as something like Obsidian, it does have some powerful modes, which are gonna be great if you're a student or somebody studying or researching. It has something that's gonna be popular for that called flashcards, which is really, really helpful for creating flashcards out of your notes. Now it also has whiteboard modes that work really well and slightly better than the likes of Obsidian Canvas and all of the regular stuff you see in other PKM apps on the market. Next up is one called Reflect Notes, and very much like Tana, what they're trying to do is be very AI focused. I think PKM apps and AI go very, very hand in hand, and applications like this are trying to be at the forefront of it. Now, Reflect Notes is very much like the other tools, but feels a lot more approachable in its look. It's well designed, it has features where you can connect up existing knowledge outside of it, which is nice. You can also bring in meetings, and there's a new task management mode, which is helpful. You can also transcribe using AI and use AI summary features as part of it. And they look to add more AI features over time, a well worth consideration. If you want that balance between more modern PKM and PKM, although this one does come at a price, but that's because they want to keep security at the forefront of the experience. So it's well worth looking at this if you're looking for something a little bit more progressive when it comes to AI, but you're willing to shell out a little bit of money. So if you're still with us, it's well worth bookmarking toolfinder.co and note-taking apps, we've got loads of them if you're interested. We've got a full guide, a buyer's guide to note-taking apps if you're interested. I will link it below if you would like to explore more and dive into those recommended advice and processes for you. So you can check that out in the link in the description. So next one is another one that helps to connect ideas together, but it doesn't in a little bit of a different style. It's called Heptabase, and the application is very visual. It helps all turns all of your little notes into boards and does it on a canvas type experience. Now for those researchers who are bringing in lots of knowledge, they wanna be able to see that visually and connect them together visually, they'll love this application. And there's some really great modes for PKM in terms of digging into your notes and seeing how they connect up. A lot of people like this because 
it is so visual and it comes at a fairly reasonable price too. Now, if you're looking for the hardest core PKM map on the market, it's probably your own research. Roam research is still about as a popular solution for those looking to bring their notes together, but it's a very focused experience when it comes to bringing ideas together. And it has its own community that is very much focused on knowledge management and research. And it's good to see how a community can be so tight on like the ideas and concepts of PKM. So if you're looking for something more communal that is going to be much more strict in terms of setup, maybe you are more detailed in terms of how block references work and how systems are connecting and you're not necessarily too worried about the design because Rome Research isn't particularly the most attractive application, then it's worth looking at this app. Next up is Capacities and this one's an interesting PKM app because it comes off of a new concept called Object based note taking where you can create a note but it's not a note at the start it's an object which means you can turn it into something more suitable for the environment which means that for example say you bump into somebody you can create a person as an object and start writing notes on that person and then connect it with a meeting that that person was in or maybe a book that that person recommended you. So you can start to build an interweaving relationship between this. Like many of the other apps on this list, AI is also a predominant point of their experience. But in general, this application is beautifully designed. Many people compare it to apps like Notion that are on the market right now. So we continue this trend of the object-based note-taking, but AnyType is one of those solutions that a lot of people go towards. It is object-based in terms of setting things up, but the application prides itself on its security local first experience, markdown and open source. It's very much values led, which means if you're looking for something that has a lot of values that matter most to you about how your data is secured and protected, then this app is well worth considering. It is like capacities, but with a more extreme focus on security and does have abilities when it comes to bringing in tasks and projects, which a lot of people might like too. So we recommended a bunch of different PK apps, apps in this video, but there are more. You're well worth checking them out on Tool Finder. But some other notable mentions are SuperNotes, ScreenTool, AmpleNote, and RemNote, which are both and all good PKM apps that are on the market. So I'd recommend to explore toolfinder.co for more note-taking apps if you're looking to expand that research and really get the best PKM app for you. So thank you so much for stopping by, folks. Hopefully this gave you some insights. My name is Francesca D'Alessio, and please do subscribe to this channel if you're interested, and I look forward to seeing you in a future video. Cheerio.